Hi guys, it's Kelsey here. So today I'm going to be doing a quick video with you guys sharing my favorite sunscreens because I know summertime is pretty much almost here because it's hot as hell outside and you should be wearing your sunscreen year round because to me the sun seems to be a lot stronger during the summer but you still should be wearing your sunscreen the entire year. Winter, spring, fall, whatever. Always wear your sunscreen. But today specifically I'm going to be sharing my favorites because I know it's kind of hard to find sunscreens for acne prone skin, oily skin, and darker skin tones, which is me. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorites and the ones that I've been using for quite some time now. So I'm sure you guys are probably tired of hearing people say use sunscreen, use your sunscreen, you don't know why you're using sunscreen. The sunscreen pretty much is just to protect your skin from the harsh sun. I don't care how dark you are, you still can get sunburned. Just because you can't see it does not mean that the sun is not doing damage to your skin. And of course the obvious reasons to wear sunscreen is because it helps with aging and skin cancer. So sunscreen is very very vital and important. So the first one that I'm going to mention to you guys is one that I've had for quite some time now. The name is kind of wiped off the top. That's how long I've had this one. But this one is SPF 40 is by the brand Super Goop and this is their unseen sunscreen and I really really like this one because it's clear so it's like a primer type consistency and it's great if you have darker skin just because you can't see it which is why it's called unseen sunscreen. I know a lot of the times sunscreens can leave like a white cast on our skin and it's very very annoying and you want to have sunscreen on but people shouldn't see the sunscreen on your face. So that's why I really like this one. So I feel like out of all of the ones that I'm going to mention today, I like this one for the simple reason that it's clear. Because there are not a lot of clear sunscreens out there. So when they came out with this one, I was very, very, very excited to try it. And it hasn't broken me out, neither have any of the other ones I'm going to mention. Because I have used a lot of sunscreens in the past. Like I have a lot of sunscreens under my bathroom sink that did not work on my face. So I just used them like all over my body because I don't want them to go to waste. But they broke me out so that's why I have a very small amount of sunscreens that actually work on my face because I have very sensitive oily acne prone skin. Even though I'm becoming a little bit more combination the older I get. But yeah this one is excellent if you've been wanting to try a clear sunscreen and you don't know which one to go for but I feel like this was one of the first that I had ever seen and Supergoop is a really good brand and this one is bomb. The next one is another one that does not leave a white cast. I've also been using this one for maybe like two years now. This is by Glossier. This is their Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen and this is SPF 35. So it's recommended that you use at least 30 and up. So you should be using SPF 30 and above. So if you got something that's SPF 15, it ain't enough. You need to be using SPF 30 and up. So again, this is another really good one that does not leave a white cast. It goes on like this. It's very, very like thin, which I really like. This one is a tad bit thicker than this one. So if you get oily super duper fast, then this is going to be the one you want to go for. Because I noticed when I wear this one, I get oily like later, later on in the day. I don't get oily as fast because... I'm not going to lie, more than half of any sunscreen that I've ever used, I still get like pretty oily. Like it's just inevitable. I don't care if it says matte, whatever. Because this one, the uh, Super Goop one, they have the matte one. And I didn't like how it looked on my face. I looked ashy and I still got oily from it. So it was kind of like, okay, that was a waste. Um, so I just stick with their uh, clear one. But this Glossy Gay one is so, so lightweight. It's kind of watery in a sense. And you don't need a whole lot of it either because it spreads really nicely over your face. So I really like this one for the simple fact that it doesn't leave me as greasy as most sunscreens. So, so again, if you're on the extra, extra oily side, then you're going to love this one. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to mention is a newer favorite of mine. I've been using this one for the past like three and a half months, three to four months. And this is by Elta MD Skincare. This is their UV Clear SPF 46 so this is a higher SPF which is um, also really good but I like this one specifically because it says it's for skin types prone to acne rosacea and hyperpigmentation and I don't get rosacea or anything but I am prone to acne as well as hyperpigmentation so I really really like this one a lot because I noticed when I use this 
if I have a pimple, it dries out super duper fast. And I think this is because it has a lot of zinc in this. Most sunscreens have zinc in it. And zinc, um, some people take it like orally, but it's in most sunscreens. I noticed that anything with zinc in it just helps dry out my pimples really fast. So this is an overall really good sunscreen that treats more than one thing. So this is just not a sunscreen. This is a sunscreen within a skincare product. However, the only thing that annoys me about this one, it is white. It does go on white. And if you apply too much of this, it will leave a white cast. So you don't want to apply too much of this because like I said, it will leave a white cast. And if you have a lot of hair on your face, like peach fuzz, because I have peach fuzz like in this area, it will roll up into like little white balls. So that's kind of annoying. Other than that, it's still a really good sunscreen. So to avoid the white cast and it rolling up into the little white balls, with this one, I'll just put some in the palm of my hand and I'll rub my hands together once. You don't want to do like this because then it's going to be all gone. I just rub my hands once and then I just pat it into my skin and after I just keep pressing and pressing then it just goes into my skin so that's a tip for you guys if you're using a sunscreen that you really like but it leaves a white cast or it rolls up into those little annoying white balls then just rub your hands together once to get all the product all over your hands and then just press it into your skin okay so my next sunscreen that I'm going to mention I don't have it with me here right now just because I used all of mine and I have to pick up another one from Sephora I don't know why I didn't got one I could have got one during the sale just too much stuff to think about but the one that I'm uh, going to mention is the Murad one I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it to you guys on my Instagram story like a year ago and that's one of my favorites it's their essential C day moisturizer with SPF 30 and I love that stuff and I like to use that when I don't feel like doing my entire morning skincare routine like with my um, serum and my moisturizer and my sunscreen because it just adds on more steps. So the mornings that I don't feel like doing all that or if I'm in a rush, I just like to use this one because it's like an all-in-one. It's a moisturizer and it's a sunscreen. So those are also really good to use if you're not a big skincare person or you don't like a lot of steps within your skincare routine, especially in the morning because I'm not going to lie, nobody really got time for that if you're like trying to get somewhere. Um, so if you can find a good sunscreen that doubles as a moisturizer, then I highly recommend this one. And especially if you have hyperpigmentation because this one has vitamin C in it. And it's a moisturizer and it's a sunscreen which is what i use in the morning anyway so right now i am currently using a vitamin c serum a moisturizer and a sunscreen i'm currently using this one i like to use these in rotation so like every two to three months i'll just change my sunscreen just because i have more than one that i like and it's just good to you know change up your products sometimes but the only thing about this mirrored one it is the lowest spf that I use so it is SPF 30 but like I said that is the minimum that you want to be using SPF 30 so it's still a really good sunscreen as well as a moisturizer and it does not leave me super duper oily so yeah that's pretty much it I didn't want to talk you guys ear off about sunscreens and I'm just you know trying to do my best to learn more about skincare and ingredients I'm telling y'all I spend like at least about 30 to 40 percent of my day reading articles about skincare just because I'm trying to know more and learn more especially the older I get I notice that I'm having different skin problems now than I did you know years ago because um, I break out a lot more than I used to and those are some things that I took for granted having really nice clear skin so I'm just trying to take better care of my skin and you guys know Kendra and I are product junkies but I'm becoming a skincare product junkie as well so let me know if you are too I love skincare products but yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I will link all of the sunscreens in the description box like we always do we always link products if you guys ever want to shop any of our favorites we link everything in the description box so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.